Hi, in this video, I'm looking at this problem here where we've studied a group of 26 students and asked them what subjects they are doing at school between math, science, and technology. And we want to find out how many study maths or science or technology or none of the three subjects. Now, if we look at the way this is set up, we're told that there's 26 students. We're told that eight of them study math, 11 study science, 13 study tech, and then it keeps getting broken down further and further for the different combinations. So this is a Venn diagram question because what we've got is how all of the information is put together. So one way to approach this is to use a Venn diagram. So if I start looking at this as a Venn diagram, I can say, well, I've got 26 students in my room and we've got so many of them are going to study maths. So many of them are going to study science and so many of them are going to study technology. And I've made sure that all my circles are crossing over so that I can get all the combinations there are. For example, this section in the middle here would represent those who study all three because it's got involved in the math circle, the science circle, and the technology circle. And this section here would represent those who study maths and science together because they overlap. So now we've got to go and put all the information from our question into the Venn diagram and make sure all the numbers go on the correct places. Now, one of the biggest things people will do is they'll say eight students study math. So we'll go to the math circle and we'll write that eight students study maths. Well, that's correct, but not entirely. What it means is the entire circle must total to equal eight. So every section within the circle, all one, two, three, four sections must add up to eight. But if I start with this, all I know is a circle equals eight and I can't break it down any further. So we actually start in the middle. We actually start with the students that study all three subjects, so maths and science and technology. And we've got one student who studies those, all of the subjects. We're going to put a one inside there. Then we can move on to some of our overlaps. So if I have a look say at this overlap here, we've got an overlap between the technology circle and the math circle. So how many study maths and tech? Well, we have four that study maths and technology, but I've already accounted for one of them that also studies science as well. So I've got to do four minus the one that I've already done, which means that I have three in this section. And I want to repeat that for my other overlaps as well. So if we keep on going, we can have a look at my maths and science overlap. So our maths and science, we have three students who study maths and science. I've already accounted for one of them because it's already in that overlap. So we have two left. And then lastly, for our technology and science, we've got five students that study tech and science. We've already counted for one, so we've got four left. And so now I can go and do my outer circles. My math circle, remember we said eight study maths, but I've already accounted for two of them here, one of them here, and three of them here. So I've already taken into account six of the students, so there's only two left, because two plus two plus one plus three makes eight, so the math circle gets an entirety of eight students in it. And then I can have a look at our science circle. I've got 11 study science, but I've already accounted for these students here. Two plus one plus four makes seven. So that means that there are four students left who study just science. But add all those up and make sure it comes out to be 11 study science as well as perhaps some other subjects. Lastly, to complete our technology circle, we've got 13 students who study technology, but I've already taken into account eight of them. 
So that means that we're going to have five left. So there are five students who study technology alone, but add on the other study other subjects, there's 13 students altogether studying technology. The last thing we need to do is work out how many are not studying any of the subjects. So if I add these numbers up, 2 plus 2 plus 4 plus 3 plus 1 plus 4 plus 5, I'll get how many students I've accounted for that are studying these three, but there might be some students in this class who are studying some other subjects and not any of these three. So if we do a quick add, we've got 2 plus 2 is 4, plus 4 is 8, plus another 4 is 12, plus 3 plus 1 is going to make 16, plus 5 is going to make 21. But I've got 26 students in the class, so that means that we've got five students who aren't studying math or science or technology, they study something else. So there we have our Venn diagram for this question. And now we can answer these questions. How many study maths or science or technology? Well, the maths or science or technology is how many study within these circles, which is the sum of everything in that circle. 2 plus 2 plus 4 plus 4 plus 3 plus 1 plus 4. I know we've already got that 4 plus 5. Whoops, plus 5. And so we've already done that addition and we came out to find that it was 21 and then how many study none of the subjects well we already worked that out to be five because that's the number outside so that's how you would solve this using a venn diagram is draw the venn diagram and then add up the bits that are required now there is another way of doing this where you don't need the Venn diagram, and that's to have a look at this using a bit of set notation or the inclusive exclusive principle. And the inclusive exclusive principle asks how many are in and how many are out to add up the important bits. So if we think about what I did, okay, by adding up all of these numbers, so this is going to be written as maths or science or technology, and we put vertical bars around ask how many. Now, one way to do this is to go, well, how many study maths? So we indicate that by how many study maths. And then add on how many study science, and add on how many study technology. But if I think about doing that, I've added on this circle here, which was eight, and then I've added on this circle here, which was 11, but we've got some overlap between these two circles, my science circle and my math circle. I've got these three that I've counted twice. So I've got to start subtracting off my overlaps. So because I did maths and then I did science, I've counted this section twice, which is the section where um, they're studying both maths and science. So that means I've got to study minus of those who are studying maths and science. But I've got to do the same for the other overlaps as well. So if we have a look at the next overlap that I've done, I've got science with technology. So I've also got to minus that off as well. So we've got to minus off science and technology. And then the last combination is I've got a minus of maths and technology. So we just got to do a double check. Is that everything that I've got to sort out? Let's go back through my logic. I worked out everything that was in the math circle. And then I worked out everything that was in the science circle. And then we worked out everything that was in the tech circle. And then I had to minus off any of these overlaps. So I minus off the bit where math and science overlapped. And then I minus off the bit where science and technology overlapped. And then I minus off the bit where maths and technology overlapped. Problem is, if I go back to how I added these in, I added in maths 
And I'm mainly focusing on this middle section here is where my issue is. So I've added in math. I've added in science. I've added in technology. But then I minused off the technology and the science and the maths and the science and the science and the technology sections. But I left those three overlaps that I've minused off. I've just subtracted everything off. I've messed up because I've got rid of too much in the middle here. So what I've actually got to go and do, which we haven't accounted for, is to go back and add in that middle bit. Because I've accidentally, by trying to deal with all my overlaps, I, uh, I raised an extra overlap that I shouldn't have. So I've got to go back and add that back in. So we've got to go and add on the ones that do maths and science and technology. And this is the formula for the inclusive exclusive principle for three sets. You add on the holes, you minus off the overlaps, but then you've got to add on the central overlap of all three together. So we add maths, we add science, we add technology, we minus off the maths and science, the science and tech and the maths and tech, but then we've got to add back on maths and science and tech. So if we know this formula or if we can remember how to derive it, and it's normally written as A plus B plus C minus A and B minus B and C minus C and A plus A and B and C. It's normally written like that for if we're trying to find um, A or B or C. But we've written it in this case in terms of the letters involved with our problem. So then we just got to go put our numbers in. 8 studied maths, add on that 11 studied science, and then add on that 13 studied technology, and then minus off that 3 studied maths and science, and then minus off that 5 studied science and technology, and then minus off that 4 studied maths and technology, but then lastly add back on that 1 studied science, maths, and technology, and our answer to part A, maths or science or technology, if we add 8 plus 11 plus 13, minus of 3, then 5, then 4, then add 1 back on, we come back to 21. And then to answer our last bit, part B, well, we've got 21 studied across the three subjects, which means that we basically want how many do not, and so we're going to write it like this, vertical bars around it mean how many, the size of, and then this symbol means not, so mass of science or technology, knotted, well that would be our grand total of 26 students minus of our 21, which equals 5. So that's two ways of solving this problem. We can either do a Venn diagram to represent it and sort out all the issues within the circles, or we can try and use our inclusive exclusive principle formula for three sets and just plug in the numbers in the question and get our answer.